Today at Blade HQ, we're gonna help you unlock your inner MacGyver. Let's talk multi-tools. Speaking of MacGyver, we're gonna kick this party off with his multi-tool, the one that he had in his pocket that whole time was the Victorinox Tinker. And I think he went pretty slim. So the Super Tinker is the one I got. And it has scissors, but this one, just that knife and the classic on all Swiss Army knives, larger than the keychains, with the can opener and bottle opener. Actually, this one's the can opener, this one's the bottle opener. A very nice tool, and if you've seen MacGyver, you've seen the crazy kind of stuff he can do with this. All the weird challenges he finds a way to resolve using only the simple tools on the Victorinox Tinker. And for $30, it's really a solid tool to get. And for only $10, we're gonna get the Super Tinker with the scissors and I mean, I'm here to tell you to get that one because I think it's better, but you do you. That is just the first multi-tool of many on this table, and they are gonna range in size, in price, in tool sets. The big thing we're trying to teach you here is what multi-tool is right for you, what brand, what tool set, whatever, why you might wanna carry a multi-tool, and where to find one perfect for you. For starting off with why you might wanna carry one, a lot of us carry a knife. And I'd say most of the people who will be watching this carry a knife in some way. I have my Benchmade Griptilian here. But a knife is a cutting tool, but sometimes you need a screwdriver or you need a pry bar or you need a bottle opener or whatever. And that's where a multi-tool slides in. But multi-tools can do so much more than that. So my brother-in-law was raised on a farm and he was telling me about an interesting time in his life when he was four miles out into the field tilling and something went wrong with the tractor. And instead of having to hike all the way back to the workshop and get a real tool to fix the job or a real box of tools to get fix the problem, he was just able to use his Leatherman Surge and get the problem fixed right then and there. No one's saying that these tools are going to be better than an entire toolbox, but what they are is passable and good enough for the situation at hand. But let's start with some Victorinox after that as well. And this one, we're just gonna do the classic SD this one's the Dessert Warrior exclusive we did, but it comes in so many colors and it's one of the most collectible knives out there. I'd also venture that it's one of the most confiscated knives out there because it does have that knife, so you can't take it on the airplane. I'll bet you there's barrels of these at TSA. But it's just got a little handy set of tools, and what I like is it's got those scissors, and I'm gonna tell you the biggest secret of multi-tools. These scissors on all of these are some of the best fingernail clippers the world will ever see because you're not bound to whatever the curb of your clippers are. You can cut whatever nail at whatever angle. Great for trimming a hangnail or maybe trimming a piece of thread off of your shirt if it's fraying or whatever. A really great tool, throw it on your keychain. Step it up in size a little bit. Next up, we have the Cadet. And this one I'm also letting stand in for the, mo for the modders out there. Swiss Army knives are some of the most mod-friendly knives out there. All you gotta do is just knock these little pins off and the same things are hidden under these plastic scales on these ones and you can pull the knife apart, you can customize whatever tools you want, put it back together, peen your pins down, or in this case, get these titanium scales that come with these Torx heads that make it even more user serviceable. But this one I think is sort of bridging the gap between the keychain and the slightly larger medium size. It's only two layers, it's got a knife, it's got a little nail file, and it's got some, it's got those same can opener and bottle opener as before. A really useful tool for everyday life, very similar in utility to the Tinker, but a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. And then from there, we're gonna move up to the Alox line. And if you're looking at Victorinox, keep Alox in the back of your head because it has, it, I feel like it's sort of a, a premium take on the Victorinox Swiss Army knife. And the reason being is these aluminum scales. So if you have ever had one of these and you've like dropped it on a rock or onto concrete or something, Sometimes you can break these scales. They're very tough, but they're not indestructible. If you want something that's a lot more durable, go with these Alox scales. Also, these slip in and out of the pocket really nicely and they have this nice texture, it grips your hand really well. I chose the Farmer X here because it has both the saw and the scissors, if I can draw them. There they are. <laughs> it's got the saw and the scissors and it is just a great outdoor thing. And my favorite thing about the Alox actually is these reamers. The reamers are usually here, and I just find it easier to use it in this direction. So I, I, I like the Alox for that. And one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram is Bushcraft Kelso. And he has a Farmer X, and he's actually turned his aluminum, like he milled out a spot in there to use as a bearing block for making friction fires. Very interesting, but modding and 
utility in the outdoors. It's a really great thing that you can do with a Swiss Army knife. Now my personal favorite has one of the plastic scales and that's the Huntsman. I have the one with the gray camouflage and I love it so much. So incredible what you can do with such a tiny tool and a bit of creativity. And that's what I think people love so much about these. Another thing is Swiss Army knives are not threatening. Like they don't, like a lot of these look fairly tactical, but these just look scout camp. They're, they're there's nothing too crazy about them. But if you want to get a little bit bigger and a little bit more hardcore, check out the large ones. This one's the Work Champ. By the way, the Champ series is interesting. So if you see a Champ in it, that means it has as many tools as could reasonably fit on a knife like that. Now you can get the crazy rare ones where it has every single tool and it's like this wide. But this one's not quite that crazy. It's got your knife. What I like about this, this one is it included these pliers. And these are true monolithic pliers. There's nothing folding going on. Just two pieces of metal and you just run with your finger. And you're thinking, well, that can't grip hard enough. Well, the test I always use, I call the torture test. You take this and you grip your thumbnail and if you start pulling and you feel like you could rip your thumbnail out, I think that means you have plenty of grip for your purposes. And this, this definitely does it. It just grips just, wet, just right. Great mechanical advantage. And then of course, it has the toothpick and the tweezers. We've all come to know and love in the classic Swiss Army knife. That is the Victorinox line. If you're looking for a multi-tool that's very everyday carry friendly, that'll slide right into your pocket, don't sleep on Victorinox. They have a lot of cool options and just about any combination of tools that you can dream up, they have. Next up, we're gonna talk about another big name in the, the multi-tool industry, Gerber. And Gerber has a few interesting tricks up their sleeves. First, we're gonna talk about this center drive. And one of its features is available on a lot of Gerber multi-tools, and that's these out the front pliers that you just kind of snap out there. And I like them because they're spring-loaded, but they're really big. So like if you're upside down and you're trying to get into something, your pliers are gonna open up easy. You don't have to like pinch them and drop them or anything. They just open for you. They have these replaceable carbide wire cutters too. They just chew through hard wire like it's not even there. And then the other stellar, stellar feature of these, because it has a bunch of the other tools that you'll see on a lot of these, but it has this center driving, so the center drive name of the screwdriver. So that way, instead of, let's take this free and I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So you have your screwdriver here. If you're gonna screw in something, you're gonna have to adjust your grip around the multi-tool quite a few times to make it screw straight. But not so with this because it's perfectly down the middle. So it's a lot faster and more natural to keep it spinning right down the middle, which is really helpful if you're screwing in some of those more difficult to reach screws. Love me the center drive. And the center drive has a big brother that's fairly new. And its name is the dual force. Just like the center drive, it's got that big old screwdriver that can really reach in there and spins perfectly centered. But it also has these slip joint pliers. So you can just open it like that and you can grab really big nuts or whatever. In fact, when this came out, Gerber sent us a sort of a box with a demonstration sample. They had this two by six full of like little screws all the way up to huge wood bolts. And you could tighten every single one of them using just the dual force which I think was really cool. And one thing I like about Gerber's is they offer these exchangeable bits, which is really convenient because you can use whatever bit you need. And this one has storage right on board. So you have another bit there and another bit there. Kind of cool. And you don't get that feature on the center drive, but in this sheath, which allows both vertical and horizontal carry, you can have, you have this little bit set, so. It has whatever you need. Whatever job you're working on, these tools can help you out. And even though they are pretty big, like pushing six inches closed, they're really great in the hand, but sometimes on the belt, that might like jab you in the side. But if you wear the belt, if you wear it sideways on either of these, it's gonna be really easy to carry for you. So I would probably carry these sideways. And it has a secondary pocket too, so these bits aren't gonna get in the way of you sheathing your multi-tool. Really well thought out, well-designed tools, made in the USA as well. Love me some Gerber. And then those are both big tools though. On the belt, I mean here, I'll put this one in there as well. On the belt, those are mean and they weigh nearly a half a pound. But Gerber has got you covered there too with the armbar series. So this is the armbar drive. There's also the armbar cork, which has a dedicated cork screw with the lever and everything. Kind of cool, but I prefer this one. I don't, I'm not much of a wine drinker. 
But this one has a like a sheep's foot blade with a liner lock on it, which I really appreciate. And then over here, just a screwdriver, which is built to the same spec in terms of toughness as the other ones are, but it's just a really nice in the hand feel. It's like, it's like you're using a screwdriver, but then it just folds down and it slides right into your pocket. And then it, it also has a pair of scissors and a little scraper piece as well. It definitely doesn't have the most tools of any, of any multi-tool on the table, but it has good tools and the tools that it has are very functional. And then lastly, it has this little like tapping nails in and, and then a bottle opener as well. Really a great thing for in the pocket carry and Gerber's got you covered there as well. And this is just a sampling of Gerber multi-tools. If you're liking what you see here, check out like the suspension and some others. The suspension is the one that came to mind. That's the one I got my nephew. He loves it very much. Next brand we're gonna talk about is SOG. So this one is the Power Access Deluxe. So Power Access, I think is a fun name for this because SOG offers a very interesting mechanism. Maybe we'll have to catch this in B-roll or I'll see if I can catch the light there. See if you can follow those gears turning. You see those? Those gears are making a compound leverage situation here on the plier tips. So that means it just magnifies your grip strength. So you're getting incredible grip strength, so especially nice if you're trying to get through wire. Some of those bigger wires, you just come in and you're just crunching right through them because you have extra leverage helping you out. And that gives you a few other interesting features too, which one of my favorites is this little section back here. So this is another one that comes with a bit set. And this bit set has a few extra tricks up its sleeve. So you can get your bit set, say you wanna use this, but you go to this little section here and you might be able to see there's a magnet right there. Just lay your bit in and then close it around like that and you have a rock solid grip on your bit. And it's not going anywhere. But say you need a little bit more leverage or a little bit more reach, they have this little doodad. This little thing is a quarter inch square to quarter inch hex adapter. And if you dig a little bit here, you can get to this little nubbin deep inside the multi-tool and you can take the square and launch it right there and then take that same bit we were using earlier and you have a little bit more reach, which is a, very nice. But say you need a little bit more leverage, you just hit this thing right there, it locks sideways, and I wasn't asking. You will turn, Bolt. And I really appreciate that. They, they include it right in the sheath where you can carry it every single day, affordances for when you are using something that is really stuck in there or needs a little bit of reach or uses a weird head or whatever you've got going on. SOG is looking out for you and making a great tool for you as well. And lastly, on the sheath with this power access, it has a Molly compatible back here, so you can put it on whatever pack you're using or use your belt. And then it has this big loop on the side to put a flashlight through. It turns it into a very useful kit, piece of kit that you can put anywhere. But I hear you say, these are all really big. What if I want something small and pocketable that also runs pliers? Well, SOG has you covered there too, with the power pint. So this thing is very much like the Power Access Deluxe, but it's so much smaller. It fits in your coin pocket. And it has a lot of useful tools too. So you get to them here from the back and just like every, not every tool here on the table, it's got a knife. This one has both serrated and plain edge. It's got scissors, it's got a reamer, it's got it all. And it's super small, still with that compound leverage, still with that quarter inch bit holder right there. Just a really nice tool that you can really use. Like it's big enough to actually use the pliers, but it's small enough that right there, just goes right in your fifth pocket, no trouble at all. But if you're looking for something where you're like, pliers are nice to have, but I'm looking for a one tool option that I can carry every single day without any trouble, that is mostly the knife because that's what I'm gonna be using, then I would advise you check out this guy right here, the Flash MT. So Flash series from SOG, is known for their assisted actions. And you get that here. This is the fastest to get to knife of any tool here on the table because of that assist. And then it's just got a liner lock, super one hand operable, secondary lock right there. But if you want, open it up. There's your pliers, compound leverage still. And if you give this thing a little slippy, you see that right there. That has more bits that will go right here into your driver without any trouble. These are a little bit smaller though, so you might have to get some of those smaller bits you can get at the hardware store, but if you wanted to trade out this one for whatever else you wanna use, 
But you can keep it all right there, deep carry pocket clip. It's an everyday carry tool through and through, but it, it offers several really useful tools. Next up, we're gonna go to the brand we've all been waiting for, and that is Leatherman. I'm personally a Leatherman guy. My Uncle Jim and I always get into it because he's a Gerber guy. He's like, I love to be able to flick the flop pliers out. And that's just the tool I've been using since I was a chap. And now I'm waist deep in my 60s and I, I know it, I use it, I love it. It's great. You know what? I'm waist deep in my 20s and all I've ever known is Leatherman. So I'm a Leatherman guy. <laughs> but the Leatherman Surge is the first one here and this thing is large, very big. So the Wave is the most popular Leatherman there is. And here is a size comparison of Wave to Surge. The Surge weighs over half a pound. It's just, it's big, but it is a beast of a tool. I'm thinking like if I work on a construction site or from a farmer, in fact, my brother-in-law I mentioned earlier, his entire family carries Surges because they're just so good for everything they need because it's big enough. Best of all, in his eyes, is this little section right here. It has this replaceable piece here. So this one has a saw. I'm gonna set this here for just a moment. Here in the sheath, you have a little sleeve that has a file in it, but it has room for another one. I think it's so you can get a spare of these. But he was saying, you know, my mom is always out there cleaning out the circles and she has to get in there and clean out the sprinkler nozzles. And sometimes they get dusty, dirty, whatever. And it would be so nice if there was just like a really stiff piece of steel that was as thick as the saw, but just a little raw that I could clean out those nozzles with. Does Leatherman make one of those? And I'm like, as far as I'm aware, they don't. But if, I mean, I, I imagine if there was a market for them, there'd be a, a thriving aftermarket of people making things that can slide right into your surge and make all of your, all of your lifelong dreams come true. Anyway, Leatherman Surge is big and super useful, and I have nothing bad to say about it, except for the fact that it is absolutely huge. So I think for my everyday use, I'm gonna stick with my Wave. It's a bit thinner, smaller, lighter, but it's a great tool all around. In fact, on a loan, I've mentioned that show a lot, mostly because the thing with a loan is its gear. It's people choose a very specific set of gear that they know how to use and they take it. And I forget what the fella's name is, but he shot a moose and he ended up winning the whole thing and he used just his Leatherman Surge to break down an entire moose. And he, like, I remember he had a shot of it. He's like, well, I get to use this knife to break down that moose. And I suppose that's kind of what we've been trying to talk about here with all these tools is they're not as good as a dedicated tool for anything, but it does have a tool that can get you by for almost anything. And that's what Leatherman, are, Leatherman and all these multi-tools are great for. However, I wonder if he might have been better served if he went with a true survival multi-tool like this Leatherman Signal. So Leatherman, in fact, uh, Clay Hayes, one of the winners of Alone, used the free P4 we'll talk about in a minute. But nobody tends to take this, and I don't know why. It's got a ferro rod on it that, if you just grab this little nubbin, it'll come out and it has a whistle. And then it still has those pliers with replaceable jaws. And I'm thinking if I'm fishing, pliers and fishing are so, so nice. It also has a sharpener, so you just hit this lock here got the sharpener, and then, of course, a knife and a saw. But it's a, it's a tool that has useful tools for the survivalist, and I really appreciate that. And then lastly, it's got the little thumping end and a little carabiner hook to put on your pack. A great tool for the outdoors. I really appreciate it. I think it kind of flies under the radar sometimes. A lot of survivalists tend to just opt for one of these others that they're used to, but maybe we'll have to try that one out in the woods one of these days. Anyway, back on the free series, this one is, I mean, Let's be honest, if you've made it this far in the video, you have watched me struggle with fishing tools out of these things. And that's one of the things with multi-tools is they pack so much utility in so densely that sometimes my chubby little fingers, I have a hard time getting them out. But that's where the Leatherman Free series came in to fix it. So this, here, I'm just gonna put this hand right here. Now, I'm not gonna move this hand and I'm going to get to any tool you want in this. Up, oh, you want a knife? Up, oh, one hand, put it away with one hand. You want pliers? Up, oh, one hand. I'm just gonna attempt to valley flip it. Use my tummy there. Pliers, open, close, all that. One hand operable, every single tool on the Leatherman Free, one hand operable. And this is just, I mean, this is the big one, the Free P4. There's also the Free P2, which is a little slimmed down. There's the T series, which reminds me a lot of a Swiss Army knife. And there's also the K series, which 
is a is a true folding knife, and then it just has a few of these little tools that are just thumb operators. Super well done, super easy to actuate, and a great tool for everyday use or hard use or whatever. And the secret to its success is magnets. Now, I know what you're saying. I'm a mechanic and I change oil all day. Well, my buddy Aaron over at Gideon's Tactical solved all our problems because he literally soaked his Leatherman free in iron filings. And yeah, it got a little in there and it was a little dirty like a Leatherman should be, but it still ran smooth, still one hand operable, super nice. Deep carry pocket clip, you can remove it if you want. Nice gray sheath as well. Last multi-tool on the table is my personal one. And the one that I carry every single day, it's the Leatherman Wave. I used to have a sheath like this one, but I carried it so much that it started to wear out. So I got this Kydex one from Clip and Carry. By the way, Clip and Carry makes sheaths that can fit a lot of multi-tools here on the table. So check them out. In my eyes, it's the best one because I know it. I know this tool so well, I've used, I mean, the Charge, which is very much like this, sort of a premium version of this, was my first knife ever. And the Wave I opted for because I feel like Leathermans are something that you kind of use and abuse. And because of that, I don't necessarily need the more premium steels. But it really is just a great everyday carry thing. And I don't know how many times I've used it. I don't know how many weird situations I found myself in where I have my Leatherman on me and a very specific tool on it needs to be used. In fact, you might remember a few videos ago, I talked about how I broke my flathead screwdriver. I hope you understand now that multi-tools are a really great thing to carry. I hope you know which one to get. I know what, hope you know what brand to look for, what tool set you're looking for. And best of all, I hope you find the perfect multi-tool for you at Blade HQ. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you on the next one.